my gosh good morning everyone happy vlogmas oh you guys i am so happy with the news it's it's scary news but it's i'm glad that something's finally happening so i've just come out of the hospital had my it's called an afi scan so why well, have i still got this on it checks so it checks the um fluid around the baby and like i said you guys i've got poly poly <laughs> polyhydramnios yes and basically the fluid is still high and they were like you're not seeing anyone today and i said oh no 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 i said i need to see someone i said like i'm getting i wrote things down on my phone i was like i'm getting kidney pain now i said i'm very uncomfortable i can hardly breathe i'm on an inhaler um now she rung she got me to see a midwife and the midwife rang the consultant and she said call the delivery suite and get her in for an induction and then i was listening out and i was thinking when is this going to be and she was like the next available slot so tomorrow morning at 9 a.m santa's coming to town <laughs> santa's coming no, um, tomorrow morning at 9am, I've got a call up and I'm getting juiced. We are going to have a Christmas baby. You guys, I have so much pressure now because the 20th is tomorrow. <sighs> she needs to come before Sunday. I mean, like, so, oh my gosh, it's finally happening. So today I have got to get everything ready. I've got to sort out childcare for Olivia and oh my god I'm just so I'm relieved I'm so relieved because it was just getting too much too scary the reason they're inducing me is because I I'm so I need a drink um the reason they're inducing me is because I have this polyhydramnius thing and um there is a huge risk of if my waters were to break her cord could just come straight down because it, I, i've got so much fluid that my waters are massive apparently like it's going to be tsunami <laughs> when i when my waters go um so i'm going to need some welly boots or something but no honestly like when they go i've got that chance of my of of the cord just completely slipping so that is why they're doing it. However, they have said tonight, Liam said tonight, if my waters go, right, and I can feel something or my or the cord is hanging out of me, basically, that's how serious it is. I would have to, I have to ring an ambulance. And they said, the only thing is you can wait four hours for an ambulance or 17 hours. So she said, you have to ring an ambulance and say, this is a life or death emergent obstetric emergency for mother mother and baby. Well, I'm surprised why they don't just keep in. So it's only one night, isn't it? Oh Liam's at B and Q getting um a light for our kitchen and I'm just sat here thinking so it's the nineteenth today and I'm just sat here thinking this baby could come tomorrow night if i'm induced in the morning i mean usually they induce at night don't they but like it could come wednesday it could come thursday i'm under pressure to make sure this baby's out by christmas day because i really do not want to have to spend christmas day away from my baby girl i will miss her so much um and i just i can't believe it it's finally happening the last vlog you guys saw was me saying how much i'm struggling and i had a feeling they were going to be like no you need to go to 39 or 40 weeks and i kind of i kind of stood my ground a bit today like i said to them i was like i want you to pass over my concerns to the consultant when you speak to her and i said look my kidneys are really hurting now because you guys know i've had hydronephrosis of my right kidney so i've only got one left and i don't want to put that i just don't want to put that at risk like I'm not doing that. I need my kidney to function, to look after two two babies, you know, two kids. Um, I don't want to be on kidney failure 
what's it called dialysis and stuff like that so and then i said like i'm so swollen and she was like you are so swollen like this is really swollen my hands are really swollen i can hardly move like i am just part whale <laughs> so um yeah and then i said like i'm very concerned about the cord also my blood pressure was high so pretty much they kind of just said get her in as soon as possible so that's what's happening so liam has gone to go and get me some heartburn tablets which oh i cannot wait to not have heartburn it is getting it is getting bad now the heartburn is getting really really bad there's people next to me in the car like what is she doing <laughs> Starbucks before big day tomorrow. At least the football's not on. Football's finished now, isn't it? Yeah, Argentina. So it's right in time. We're out in time then. Livy's got a cookie. Got a cookie. Happy. This is a good day. It is three. Three quarter past three and we have just been put into the delivery room look over there oh oh little christmas hat so i'm on the monitor waiting to be liam's over there all the way over there it's really weird this room's massive look at it look how big this room is it's crazy Baby's bags down there. It's finally happening. You're making me anxious. What? just had <laughs> yeah I've just had the first part of induction to the pessary um I actually found it hard I did before with Olivia as well because I've got a really like high cervix I think so ow but it's not so much like pain it's more like the thing they use is really sharp <clears throat> it feels sharp to me anyway so I ended up going on the gas and air and then, then that was funny. <laughs> it's over there somewhere. It's there. That stuff's good. It was really funny, wasn't it? Yeah. I just started giggling and then <laughs> I still feel it a little bit, but yeah, it was fun. So every time I have to have that taken out or put in, I think I'm gonna use that. <clears throat> And then we're nearly, so I've been started off at quarter to five. Quarter five. Yeah. Are you ready to have a bye, boy? Oh. Come on, let's go. See, I found this thing. No. It's not up to you to shut the door. No. Um, I found it really hard, this thing, this pessary. I found it really painful before. So, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> so you guys, quick update. Look at me here. <laughs> um, I'm in pain, basically. Which is good, I know, but it hurts big time. But it's like excessive excruciating period cramp that's what it feels like and i can't like walk there's so much pressure liam's got kfc courtesy of his sister bringing it up i had what did i have again i had i know i had 
cottage pie, orange juice and an ice cream. It was actually really good. So I'm on the ball. This is the only like pain relief I'm getting at the moment. just been on the gas in there so it is induction day two and I've got quite a lot to catch up but basically yesterday last night I had the pessary popped in and within about an hour and a half I was like really struggling in so much pain um I, I genuinely just could not handle it because it was just zero to a hundred so fast so um basically they've done a monitoring and was seeing that i was contracting too quickly too intensely and it's called like um hyper something i can't remember what it's called where the uterus is just like spasming and it's just not really doing what it needs to be doing and it's just too much um and also that makes the baby tired and stuff like can get distressed so the doctors came round, saw how much pain I was in. I took paracetamol, I took morphine, nothing helped. And eventually they said, we're gonna have to take that out. So I felt, I felt relieved, but I also felt like a bit deflated because I thought I'd have to have it all back in again today and start again. Um, but they took it out and they said, if you continue to contract whilst it's out, then that's like your body's ready. So it's kind of, it's you know it's pro it's progressing whereas if we take it out and everything tapers off then i might have to have it all back in again so i finally got some sleep because they gave me well a little bit they gave me um i think it's called diamorphine or diamorph it's an injection in your leg um and they took it out and everything like calmed down and I was actually able to like breathe because the contractions were coming so frequently that there was just like no break. It was, it was horrendous. So anyway, so it's now the next day. The doctors came around this morning and said there's like two options. So they're gonna check me um, and if they're able to break my waters, then they're just gonna break my waters. And then hopefully that will push me into active labor if not, then I'll go on the drip and then it'll kind of, I know for a fact, me with the drip, it will go like that because I remember it happened with Olivia. Um, or it would mean if I if they can't break my waters, they will give me the pessary again. And if that is too much again, they'll take it out and give me an injection, which is kind of just keep going back a step. Luckily, I've just been examined I've made progress whilst nothing has been in, like I've had nothing in. I've been contracting um, and she said she can break my waters. So today, this afternoon, they're gonna break my waters and hopefully, oh my God, she could, I don't know, she could be here possibly early hours tomorrow, maybe. Liam? He's got his headphones in. Right. Do you think possibly early hours tomorrow morning? Well, could be. Depends on when they Especially if I get put on the drip. Yeah. Unless if they could put it, get it done this afternoon. Unless if there's like three people in front of me. Yeah, there's, there's quite a few people in front of me waiting for their waters to be broken, so I'm on the list. But, um,. I just feel really happy because I haven't got to go through all that pain again with that pessary because that was a bitch. <laughs> so I will update you guys what happens next, but Liam's on his phone watching something or playing music. What? I think he's playing music. Yeah, you tired? Alright, you need to get some sleep. It looks like they're leaving the bed for you. No, <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and get some sleep because I have not really slept and if things are going to happen this morning, like tomorrow morning, then I probably do need some rest. So I will 
catch up with you guys soon.